What is going on guys? So what we got here is the original iPod touch. So yeah, so this has been factory reset just now. But what's special is this is this is running on the original version of iOS. Well not really it's not really called iOS, it's called iPhone OS. So as you can see here, so what you see here when you factory reset this iPod touch first generation is the home screen. So yeah, this is all you have. <laughs> So all you have, yes, yeah, Safari, YouTube, Calendar, Contacts, Clock, Calculator, Settings, Music, Videos, Photos, iTunes. So yeah, so Safari, you know, pretty basic. <laughs> Just a basic browser. So I'll give it a shot for the internet. So give me one second. Alrighty, join, connecting to the internet, connecting to the interwebs. So let's try to go to Apple, for example. Oops, wait, try again, refresh. Yes, continue. So yeah, this is running a very outdated browser because this is the original iPhone OS, you know, version one. This came out like 2007, like right after the original iPhone came out. So yeah, it still kind of works and everything. Like you can see the very last iPod touch has been discontinued like a few days ago. Uh, sad to see that iPod touch is gone. Yeah, and this is pretty slow. So for the browser, so this is not very practical to use. So, so that's the Safari right there. So if you got YouTube, let's give it a try. Which doesn't work, which you have to connect to iTunes, but it does not work anymore on iTunes. So that's a big no-no. Calendar. All right, so we have a calendar app. Yep, month. Let me check the month. Yeah, month still, like, still kind of works, you know? You can still use it for, for sure. All right, contacts. Well, I don't think I have nobody in my contacts because I got no one. Yay. All right, clock. All right, we got clock and this is time for Cupertino, California. But right now for me, it's midnight. Like I said, you can see the clock right here from my time. Yeah, you got, I also got alarms, stopwatch. You can use stopwatch, whatever you want. You can also press laps. So how many laps you can run and the timer. Uh, let's see. So let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say about, it didn't say seconds, so yeah. So pretty much the timer, so that's about it for that. Calculator. So this is your basic, I think you can rotate on this, right? No, you can't. <laughs> okay, not in the original one. So let's try nine times nine, it's 81. So yeah, basic calculator, so that's good. Music, I don't have any music, so there's something I can do about it. So I need to put music on the, from iTunes. Well, on the original iPhone, if you see the uh, icon right there, it says i. It says music on the iPod, but on the iPhone, it says iPod because you know it's an iPhone. You gotta use the iPod within the iPhone. So yeah, videos. You got no videos. So basically, put videos from iTunes again. Same with photos. Again with iTunes. And then iTunes app which does unfortunately does not work on the original version on iOS or iPhone OS I should say so yeah I don't think that will work at all because it just gave me this like loading screen and stuff so rip all right settings so this is pretty basic for settings so all you have is Wi-Fi this is pretty much it <laughs> I'm not gonna show you anything else for the Wi-Fi but we have brightness you got a uh, auto brightness and you can slide it to change brightness like this. And yeah. And then general. General, all you have is, uh, oh yeah, look at this. 1.1, that's the original version for the iPod Touch. There is no 1.0 for it though, sadly. That goes to the original iPhone because it came out before this one. So 7.3 gigabytes. So that's the maximum capacity you can get, I think. Or is it 16? I can't remember. So yeah, 1.1. 1.1 the original iOS and look at these wallpapers look look at this these are commercial com uh, wallpapers you know you see that iPod commercials and stuff and it's also a Mona Lisa yeah all right then in time basically you know oh, battery dismiss so set your timer you know 24 hour clock because you want to and time zones and that's about it for that <laughs> Alright, international. What's international? Oh yeah, just change your uh, region and then your keyboard and language. So that's it. That's it for that. <laughs> Auto lock. You know, 
What one do you want to auto lock your um your iPod? Pascal lock. Let me put let me make a Pascal lock. Right now. So yeah, try again. So when I just do that, turn lock it. Slide to unlock. Classic. And then you enter your passcode. Oops. Uh oh, I think I messed something up. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Oh gosh. Uh. Oh, so I cannot remember the passcode, so I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I am back, so it turns out I did press the wrong number the whole time when I try to answer my passcode. Instead of 9618, it's actually 9648, and there you go. Oh my goodness. Alright, so that was uh, passcode lock, sound effects. So sound effects, you know, you want to do like, like clicking noises because it does not have a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't even have a speaker. Then how do they make sound effects? I don't really know. No. Keyboard. Uh, output compensation. I don't like that. And caps lock. And then it's a little shortcut. And then there's other keyboards you want to change for your language. And then reset. Reset all settings. Erase all content settings. Reset keyboard dictionary and network settings. So pretty much reset stuff. You know what you like. All right, let's go back. All right, music. Music, all you got is a uh, soundtrack. I never use that. Auto book, audio book uh, speed, normal. I don't use audio books. EQ, if you want to change like equalizer, like for your specific um, bass or treble, like whatever you like. And volume limit, like just a limit. Um, you know, this is for kids, you know, or someone else is like very sensitive with um, how loud it goes. So you can limit that. So video. And stop playing where I left off. Like this basically, basically auto resume, closed captioning, widescreen video, and TV signal. You know, NTSC or PAL when you're uh, what region you're from. So photos, photos. Like this is all. This is also a slideshow setting. So shuffle, repeat, transition, and like how long you want to change photos to the next one. So sorry. My default uh, is Google, JavaScript plugins. Block pop ups, accept cookies, clear history, clear cache, and then when we go to developer, you can check like the debug console. I'll show you that right now. So when I go Safari, uh, let me go back. When I check the debug console, no errors. But you'll see a lot of errors when I go on YouTube. Like, look at this. Let me go on YouTube real quick. YouTube, YouTube, you do 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 do. Let's go to YouTube. All right, you should be able to see the errors because YouTube don't no longer works. Well, okay, yeah, pretty much doesn't work anymore. All right, so that was uh, Safari, and then lastly, contacts. It, this is pretty much like sort your context, and that's about it. <laughs> that's all you can do. And yeah, that's about it. That's all you can do with iOS 1.1 original iOS or iPhone OS I say so that's it so thank you all for watching guys I'll see you guys later and have a great day or night bye bye